Hey guys, uh, I'm back with my another video. And in this video, I have my senior Sai Blindu Sarkar, uh, who is my senior in, from IIT Hyderabad. And hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine, Jaya. So first of all, thank you for inviting me in your channel. And now, like, yeah, mic is up to you. Ask me anything. I'll try my best to. So I did my BSc from Siliguri College, which belongs to University of North Bengal. And after that, I cracked JAM examination and I went to IIT Hyderabad for my master's in chemistry. Mm -hmm. Then I did my, I did crack my gate and CSI NET examination to get admitted to IIC for PhD. And currently I'm doing my PhD at uh, the department of IPC, that is Inorganic and Physical Chemistry Department. So yeah, that's all. So like you said, you have a uh, qualified uh, CSIR, NET, NET, GRF, or GATE exam. So like from these exams, you have entered into uh, uh, like PhD in, at IIC Bangalore, or which exam right. specifically you have entered, like GRF or okay. uh, GATE? Right. Yeah. Okay. So for PhD in India, if you're from chemistry background, you need to either have the inspire uh, like you need to be an Inspire Fellow or you need to be a CSR JRA Fellow or you need to be a GATE Fellow. So you have to track either of the three exams. And now, so uh, since I have not an Inspire Fellow from the beginning, so I have to, I had to crack my uh, CSR NET examination, like JRA one, also the GATE examination. I did crack both of these examinations. And when I got admission here, I get the, I got the admission through GATE. And then I changed my uh, fellowship from GATE to CSIR when I got opportunity for getting it converted into the SPM fellowship. And SPM fellowship is a prestigious fellowship from CSIR. So uh, like how can one person get this SPM fellowship? What is the criteria and what is the process? You are finding like a PhD in IISC. What are the benefits of doing PhD in IISC, Bangalore? Okay. So to be specific, in this in this answer mm -hmm. the first of all, first of all i'll briefly tell that yeah i do research on nanometer synthesis and catalysis so this is a kind of different field for the chemist out there we usually know organic physical chemistry like that like <clears throat> kinetic studies or synthesizing a molecule so this is how we know chemistry but this is a bit different uh, subject from a regular page, uh, regular chemistry student who has been studying this thing from their graduation or masters right so in this aspect, to characterize this uh, nanomaterials, we need some different techniques. Like we have read about some stroboscopic techniques like IR, NMR, and so. <clears throat> These are very pretty basic. But along with that, we know we need to get something else to characterize this nanomaterials. For that purpose, IIC is pretty good because we have this uh, a specific instrument that is uh, needed to characterized nanomaterial is TEM. So TEM is basically transmission electron microscope. So that is pretty uh, expensive. Okay, it costs around eight to ten crores for a basic, basic TEM. And if you want, if you want to search around the universities or the uh, IITs or NISERs or NIPAs all around India, so you can find only few per uh, institute. Like maybe there will be max to max two or three. Mm -hmm. For institute and there will be none also in case of many other universities mm. but in case of isc i guess uh, according to as far as my knowledge goes it's like around six to seven tms are there so these this is the one specific kind of example that i've given here so like this only we have various facilities for our characters and techniques or catalysts after doing catalysts we need to do something so these instruments are basically helpful and you don't you don't need to get into a queue any queue or something else so as soon as you do the reaction you get your character's data and you can just uh, analyze it so that's the basic uh, difference from other universities compared to isc and this is why isc is beneficial and it helps a lot in my research ideas yeah. mm -hmm. so good instrumental facilities are available in yeah IIC. these are the benefits and the environment is also good for research yeah mm -hmm. And what is the like uh, uh, scholarship if we apply through gate or like same? Yeah, hmm. yeah. 
since uh, this are been uh, this scholarship amount has been ascertained by MHRD, mm. so all the all the funding agencies have to give the same amount. So like apart from PMRF and SPM, mm. the amount is same for everyone. For junior research fellow that is JRF, we have thirty one thousand per month, and for the SRF or senior research fellow, it is around thirty five thousand per month. Mm. Yeah, so that is fixed for every other. Apart from PMRF and SPM fellowship, and is there any contingency for the people who apply? How did you prepare for the interviews and JRF, CSI, and JRF exam? These all exams like gate. Okay, okay. So uh, for this uh, examinations like CSI and gate, these are called competitive examination, and you know why it is competitive. So. If you are applying for that, you know that there are a thousand more applying along with you for the same examination with a limited number of seats. Mm -hmm. Now, if you get have to get over from them, above them, so that time what you have to do is basically you have to get competitive, as the name said. Mm -hmm. So in that case, how much marks uh, you can earn and how less you can lose by a negative questions because we know that all these examinations have negative marking, mm -hmm. one third per question. So how much marks you can earn and how less you can lose, that is the main motto of this examinations, okay? Mm -hmm. One who does this very uh, good enough, they are, they are getting their cutoffs done and they get the fellowship. Now, how to prepare for that? So in particular in my case, it's my opinion that I got help from many YouTubers out there. They helped me a lot, their tricks and uh, like some, uh, like small points which uh, by which you can remember all the things from a whole chapter that helps about csi and jrf uh, like what uh, if we get some rank so on that rank uh, how we will decide that whether i can come into like that cutoff or not uh, whether that that will be good for like applying to uh, phd in different different institutes right like what your concern is what i understand that uh, how does your rank matter for your appearing in the institute uh, in yeah. the uh, interview right yeah. yeah so if you have you if you are having a gate rank of 1000 and if you think that you are not qualified enough to appear for the interview of isc that is uh, quite wrong because rank is just a parameter to check your basic ability after that you have to perform in your uh, interviews then only you can get uh, in a year, uh, one how many times one can apply for PhD? Like uh, PhD entries, vacancies are there. So okay. uh, in a year, how many vacancies come and at what time and which month? Okay, okay, yeah. So generally, it happens is uh, there are two openings for PhD, uh, mm -hmm. two times openings for a PhD in a year, mm -hmm. in almost every institute of India. So one is the summer entry, one is the winter entry. Mm -hmm. So basically summer means the interview starts from May. So for that you have to apply around March. In the month of March you can apply. And if you are getting selected for the interview, then you can uh, come for the interview around May or June. So that is the time for the interviews. Mm -hmm. And if you get selected after the interview also, mm -hmm then you will be getting a PhD position uh, around August, month in the, starting from the month of August. So that is your starting. As I can see uh, in your background, there are, I think you are sitting in a lab. It's, it looks right. very yeah, nice right. lab. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sitting in the lab and this backgrounds like there are some poster presentations, oh. diagrams there we have, yeah. So um, I think uh, these were the basic questions where, uh, which uh, one wants to know uh, whether they want to go for PhD or not. And uh, right. and so lastly, I want to ask like as I usually do. Uh, one okay, guys. I hope you find this video useful, and um, I will keep making these videos. So please like, share and subscribe because it keeps me motivating to make more and more videos. So let's see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.